I am particularly proud that the ASI Diversity Council is commemorating Holocaust Remembrance Day. It is a day to remember and honor the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and millions of other victims, including those who helped hide or save Jews, the Jehovah Witnesses, gay men, the disabled, and many, many others who were murdered during World War II by the Nazis simply because of their race, religion, political belief, or sexual orientation. It is a day designed to develop educational programs to help prevent future genocide. It's particularly meaningful to me because my wife of 57 years, Suzanne, is a Holocaust survivor. Although she was not in a concentration extermination camp, her beloved grandmother of blessed memory, her grandfather, and all of her aunts, uncles, cousins were killed by the Nazis. Fortunately, a Christian family in Poland put themselves and their own family at risk every moment of three years to protect and hide Suzanne, her parents, and two sisters, one born in hiding during the Holocaust. It is important for all of us to remember and understand the Holocaust and to realize that it isn't just history of more than 75 years ago. Hate and anti-Semitism is on the rise everywhere. There are hate crimes against many religions, races, and colors every day throughout the world. And these are real people. It's particularly sad to me that over this weekend in Fort Worth, Texas, where our ASI show will take place in just a few days, there was a terrifying situation as a synagogue where a rabbi and three members of his congregation were praying and were held hostage by a terrorist. Every person of every faith should be able to freely worship without fear. Please remember, the opposite of love is not hate, it is indifference. So let's not be indifferent. We should not only remember the past, but live in a way to be proud of the present. God bless America. Stay safe. Hug your family. Thank you.